Hello everyone, my name is Maxwell Holm. I'm the project manager of the Georgia Tech RoboNav Robotics team in Atlanta, Georgia. The RoboNav team is composed of approximately 60 members, split up across mechanical, electrical, software, and science subteams. This past year, we've been hard at work creating the team's first ever rover, WALL-E, and drone, EVE, for the University Rover Challenge. And we can't wait to show everyone what we have in store. To allow for flexibility of the rover functionality, Wally has four different configurations that can be easily swapped out at the drop of a hat for each of the competition missions, with delivery, equipment servicing, autonomous, and science configurations, respectively. We designed our electrical system with modularity in mind. The system consists of three modules, the main box, the science, and the arm module. Aviation connectors allow us to quickly and securely swap between science and arm configurations. The core of Wally is the main electrical box, housing its battery, onboard computer, and motor controller stack. To power the drivetrain, six brushless DC motors provide enough torque to overcome challenging obstacles. We use a ubiquity bullet radio to communicate with our rover over long distances. Transmitting over 2.4 gigahertz strikes a good balance between range and bandwidth, allowing us to stream video necessary for operation of the arm. The rover is composed of five main mechanical subsystems, the chassis, wheels, legs, arm, and science assembly. Wally's chassis is composed primarily of carbon fiber tubing, which ensures structural integrity at a minimal weight. The chassis is then connected to the differential bar of the six-wheeled rocker bogey system. Each of these wheels was cast in-house out of a flexible urethane resin using a custom-produced 3D printed mold. The drivetrain system allows for extensive terrain traversal capabilities of the rover including sandy areas, rough boulder fields, and slopes of up to 30 degrees. Mounted on the front of the chassis is the 5 degree of freedom rover arm, which is used in both the delivery and equipment servicing missions. The rover arm utilizes a compliant gripping end effector which allows the rover to grasp a wide variety of different objects with a maximum weight of 6 kilograms. To assist Wally in the delivery mission, our quad rotor drone EVE is outfitted with a 3 degree of freedom arm that can be used to reposition the camera as well as pick up and deliver payloads of up to 2 kilograms. Working together gives both Wally and EVE greater flexibility in surveying the field layout, locating payloads, and accessing objects in difficult to reach locations. For the equipment servicing mission, Wally transitions to the fine manipulation gripper, which utilizes a smaller gripping surface to flip switches, turn knobs, type on a keyboard, and insert a USB stick. Our custom-built navigation algorithms use various nodes in ROS2 to estimate pose using GPS and IMU data fused into an extended common filter, and plan a route to a given waypoint using A star, and navigate through that route. The system replans based on information given by deaf cameras on board and stops after reaching a Naruko tag or a waypoint depending on the system configuration. Our web interface allows for a seamless monitoring of Wally's real-time status and allows users to configure those statuses. We also use Foxglove and Arvis to monitor real-time video streaming from the rover to ensure that autonomous navigation is proceeding as expected over large ranges. Our rover features a turnstile with four interchangeable coring mechanisms, three beakers filled with a life detection assay, and one sealed cache container. Wally drills into the soil with a core bit, extracts a sample, deposits it into a beaker, and then drops a temperature and humidity probe in the hole to gather more data. While the core is being extracted, an onboard camera captures the stratigraphy of the sample, and a 360 degree camera captures a wide angle panorama shot of the area. For the life detection assay, we are using a nihedrin ethanol mixture. The cores will be placed in the mixture, and if there are alpha amino acids present, it will turn rumens purple. Since alpha amino acids are mainly a byproduct of life processes, detecting them provides a strong indication of life. Between this and the other capabilities that the rover possesses, we are confident that Wally and Eve can tackle any obstacle that the University Rover Challenge throws our way. Go Jackets!